What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Hybrid Network News Flash. In the lead-up to Episode 7, many fans assumed that we'd be reconnecting with Luke Skywalker for the first time since Return of the Jedi. But instead, all we saw of the Jedi Master was a wordless stare at the end of the film, leaving the rest of his story to, I guess, the somewhat controversial The Last Jedi. But a newly leaked photo from behind the scenes confirms that we were originally supposed to see more of Luke in The Force Awakens than we got, with pretty heavy twist. The image was posted to r slash both and spies on Reddit, an alternate page for Star Wars leaks that's not the main Star Wars leaks subreddit. But you'll notice that in the image, Luke is young, like Empire Strikes Back young, and he's actually decked out in his outfit from the end of that movie, specifically towards the end of his duel with Darth Vader. And we can see here he's got both hands, so potentially this is right before he loses that second hand. But how is this possible, seeing as Mark Hamill is, of course, uh, now not that age anymore? Well, the actor that we see in the photo is none other than Robert Bolter. And if that name sounds familiar, it rings a bell, but you just quite can't put your finger on it. I've got to ask, were you reading MakingStarWars.net in 2015, hunting down all the rumors and reports and scoops in the lead-up to the film coming out? Way back in February of 2015, more than 10 months before the release of The Force Awakens, MakingStarWars.net published an article about who was playing young Luke Skywalker in The Force Awakens. Jason Ward, the editor-in-chief of the site, claimed to have seen a master character list for the film listing a young Luke Skywalker, sometimes referred to as the young original warrior. And in this article, MakingStarWars.net claims that Robert Bolter was indeed cast as young Luke, which, if you look up a picture of Robert Bolter, which we'll have on screen right now, he absolutely does bear a resemblance to Mark Hamill from that day and age. This, of course, then poses the interesting question of where exactly were we going to see young Luke, specifically Robert Bolter's young Luke, in The Force Awakens. I think the most likely possibility is that we would have seen him during Rey's flashback sequence, because we, of course, already see Cloud City there, specifically the lights from the back half of that duel with Darth Vader, uh, which he definitely looks like he's in in that camera test. So let me know in the comment section down below what you make of this. Obviously, this now is relegated to the what might have been side of history uh, if they had decided to actually use Bolter's Skywalker. It remains to be seen why exactly they cut him out. Maybe they felt like that was too grounded for the vision that Rey was going to have. Uh, maybe they just ultimately felt that Bolter didn't look enough like Mark Hamill. Maybe they figured it would throw people off. Who knows exactly why they cut it, but they did, uh, which I think is unfortunate. Personally, I'm way on board the train of having a young Luke Skywalker movie or miniseries or something, and of course you know I'd love to see Sebastian Stan in that role, but it's undeniable that Bolter does bear a resemblance. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think, but that's gonna do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.